have sausage and biscuits and gravy. I'm gonna be using the white lily and I'm gonna be using the recipe on the back which says two cups of enriched bleached self-rising flour, one, one and one fourth cup of vegetable shortening, three fourths cup of buttermilk, and two tablespoons of butter melted. Preheat oven to 475 degrees. So I'm gonna preheat my oven to 475. It is on. This is my two cup measure. These are not sifted. So I need one fourth cup of vegetable shortening. Good old Crisco shortening. This is my buttermilk, three-fourths cup. Using a little spatula. Okay, we're just gonna push all this batter together. Gonna roll it out just a hair bit. We don't wanna work it too hard. Okay, then we're gonna fold it over again. my biscuit cutter in the flour. Kind of give it a little twist. That's what it looks like. This also has a cute little side you can do for scones. Oh, but I need to put two tablespoons of butter on the milk, this butter down. I'm gonna stir it up and I'm gonna put butter on. and get them in the oven. Oh my goodness. Let's see how long it says to cook them. They're all basically the same size. Bake eight to 10 minutes until golden brown. I'm hoping you guys will subscribe to my channel. I know I'm a new channel, but I love this and I'm hoping you will, but if you, you know, it's entirely up to you, but I, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. And let's get back to these biscuits. And then I think I'm gonna make some sausage. Oh, you guys, let's make some sausage gravy. Oh my goodness, that's what we're gonna do. Let's make it, let's make it. We're gonna get on that gravy, sausage and gravy. Oh my gosh. That'll be my lunch. I haven't eaten any breakfast. It is almost, it is 10.50, so almost 11 o'clock and I haven't eaten anything. And I'll tell you what, I can use some biscuits and gravy right now. I know y'all don't wanna see me wash no dishes, we need to cook. I am gonna put all this stuff up though and kind of wipe all this flour up. But I can't believe I decided to make biscuits today. Oh, I'm gonna open the oven so bad. Don't peek, y'all. Don't peek. <laughs> I wanna peek so bad, but I'm not going to. Them biscuits are in the oven. And I'm gonna make my sausage. I'm gonna make my sausage gravy. And sausage and gravy. You, I'm going to cook this sausage and then I'm going to make my gravy. I'm going to show y'all my kitchen one day. It's so little. I'm going to show you how I organize stuff. I am an appliance junkie. I love appliances so much. To make good gravy, you got to have some oil. So I'm going to take like a, ooh, I'm sorry. I'm going to take like a cap full and pull it in the well. And then it'll get hot real quick. A fourth of a cup of all-purpose flour. Now, I might need more, but right now, I'm just gonna get this in there and get that flour taste out of it and put it right there on top of that oil. So, a half a cup of all-purpose flour. That's what it looks like with 
The flour is all gone now. But I'm gonna add a whole stick, half a cup of butter. I'm just gonna make a little well and put this butter in there. Oh my goodness, the sausage is looking so good. The butter's almost melted. You make gravy, you do not add hot milk to your gravy. It won't be good, it'll be lumpy. And a cup of whole milk and one cup of whipping cream, and we probably need to add a little bit more, but we'll, we'll deal with that in a minute. Let me check on them biscuits. Gonna get that fond off the bottom of this pan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now you can use half and half. It doesn't matter. This is just what I had in the refrigerator, and that's what I do most of the time. I, whatever I have is whatever I make it out of. So if you've just got whole milk, just use that milk. I think I'm gonna add a cup of water. I did. You can put jalapenos in this. You can put hot sauce. You can do whatever you like. You can make this a spicy sausage and gravy. This is my sausage and gravy. I am gonna put in one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. You don't want to add more than that. You will, it will be too overpowering, but the one teaspoon does make a difference. And now I'm going to put in one teaspoon of prepared mustard. I want to see the pepper. I haven't added any salt yet. I'm gonna add that last. But you've just got to have salt, but I think that'll be I think that'll be better. I could eat this whole pan. Add a little bit more milk. Just a little. Make sure it's cold. We don't want it to lump up. Probably about a half a cup. Well, we're gonna simmer that on low. These are my biscuits. It looks like it's got a few little layers. They're really flaky. It is really, really flaky. I like that. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. It's really flaky. It's layers in it. Oh my gosh. I bet it's good. Let me try. Really tender. Really, really good. Look at that. That is awesome. I feel flaky biscuit. That's almost like pie crust. Mm. That and jelly or gravy, that's gonna be good. I love that. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten any breakfast. I'm gonna take me some of these biscuits and I'm gonna crumble them up. I'm gonna crumble up these flaky, flaky biscuits. I am. Just two. I'm going to put me some of this gravy on top of it. Oh, y'all. Oh, my God. This is that biscuits and gravy. You can put cheese on this. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. Oh, my gosh. Y'all. That gravy is so good. Oh my goodness. Gravy elevates your food to beef wellington. That's so good. You got to make that gravy. I was not even planning on making sausage gravy today, but it worked out. And it was oh, probably some of the best I ever made. You got to make it. Christmas is coming up. Thanksgiving's coming up. You can have these a beautiful breakfast in no time, and I'll make you some biscuits and gravy. I want to say thank you so much for joining me today.